heat. The weather around the world is changing. I think we have the potential to see periods of cold air. The new outlook for this winter just in. Then, a rare look inside the National Weather Service. The record was back in 1949. This is the exact record. And how tracking weather has changed in the last 200 years. Plus, the umbrella of the future. It twists and turns. That's not all. The different designs in the works to keep you dry. And from wake up to make up. See Mike, Audrey, and Nick before they get to work. Tonight, the Fox 5 weather team takes on weather extremes. Winter is coming back, and this year could be worse than last. Tonight, the science and the facts behind a season of extremes. Plus, the polar vortex. Is it making a comeback? But before we look forward, let's take a look back. Snow. Wind. Unrelenting cold. The punishing winter of 2013-2014 was something that most of us would like to forget. And while it wasn't the coldest winter we've ever seen, 57 inches of snow fell in Central Park, making it the seventh snowiest on record. Gary Conti, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in New York, talks about why we had so much cold and snow. The polar jet stream dipped south, uh, penetrating far deep across the southern United States. And that was being driven by what we call the polar vortex, and it drives the polar jet stream south along with the Arctic air and extremely cold temperatures. So why could this winter be as harsh as the last one? To answer that, we have to look at not one, but several climate patterns around the world and compare them to previous years. These patterns include El Nino and La Nina. The El Nino Southern Oscillation happens when the surface temperature of the Pacific is warmer than average, and that can result in a milder than usual winter for us. La Nina, on the other hand, comes from cooler than average sea temperatures, allowing the polar or northern jet stream to become more dominant, which can lead to a colder and snowier winter for us. Also contributing to our winter weather is the Arctic Oscillation. When low pressure is prevalent near the North Pole, we have the positive phase. That low pressure keeps cold air bottled up over the Arctic and the North Pole, meaning we'll have fewer invasions of cold air. During the negative phase, the jet stream allows colder air to invade the eastern half of the country. For instance, last year we were in the negative phase for most of the winter. Related to the Arctic Oscillation is the North Atlantic Oscillation. In the positive phase, the jet stream stays further north, meaning warmer air along the east coast. But in the negative phase, the jet stream is pushed further south, allowing cold, snow, and nor'easters to develop. That's exactly what happened last winter when the polar vortex moved further south. The official government forecast for the winter of 2014-2015 leans towards a milder than average winter for us. But I'm thinking our winter will be similar to last year, and here's why. While El Nino is likely to be present for this upcoming season, I believe it will be weak and not likely to result in milder weather. Even with an El Nino pattern in effect, we could have breakdowns in periods where we could have colder weather. I'm also seeing above average temperatures in the North Pacific, which in combination with a weak El Nino can bring cold weather to the East Coast. This may also allow the polar and subtropical jet streams to merge, leading to major snowstorms along the East Coast. Another likely scenario this winter is for both the Arctic and North Atlantic oscillations to favor cold and snow. This has already played out this fall, where we've already seen three nor'easters. Another thing I look at is snow cover on the other side of the world, in Siberia. More snow there could mean more cold and snow here. At this time last year in Siberia, 12 million acres of land was already covered with snow. The average is about 10 million. This year already, nearly 13 million acres are covered. Do the math and you can see we are already in a position for a cold and snowy winter ahead. The bottom line, when it comes to this winter, expect it to be cold and snowy. In fact, the cold air is already here. People rely on us for weather information, but sometimes it's hard to understand the technical terms we use. Like the polar vortex. See what happens when I take it to the streets of New York. What do you know about the polar vortex? Anything? Uh, no, just that it really messed up the weather last year. <laughs> hey, what do you think about this winter in the polar vortex? The what? The polar vortex. I've heard of it. No, what is that? <laughs> 
I guess it means that it's extra cold. Is that what caused it to be extra cold? Last winter was just brutal, man. Too much for you? It was too much. No way. New Yorkers don't like winter? Bostonians get it all the time, basically. It happens. It's called winter. It's called winter, exactly. The polar vortex? No. You want to tell me about it? All right, so last winter we heard the term polar vortex all over the place, and it was really driving a lot of folks crazy. But I'm here with my weather producer, Carly Bucola. Now, this term polar vortex... I mean, let's talk a little bit about it because it's not actually a storm. That's correct, Mike. It's not actually a storm. It's just an area of low pressure that's usually centered over the poles and sometimes swoops down and brings us really cold air into this area. It's just a regular polar feature that abnormally dip further to the south. You're right, and it's there every day of the year. It's just that it doesn't come and visit us that often, and it's not a crazy alien invasion, and it's nothing to, to be afraid of when you hear that term, polar vortex. The, the weather season, buzzword of the year, that's, that's what, what it, it really comes down to, and that's what happened last year. So chances are that you will be hearing the term polar vortex again this year. Absolutely. It seems like every year we have another term that comes up that folks get worried about, but polar vortex Texas, nothing new, and you may come up with some new ones this winter season as well. Well put, Mike. Well, tracking the polar vortex is just one of the many duties for the meteorologist working at the National Weather Service. And from radar beams to high-flying weather balloons, they've got the toys that can track it all. The National Weather Service is the center of information gathering and forecasting for the tri-state area. This government agency provides detailed forecasts and is responsible for issuing severe weather warnings to the public. I traveled 70 miles east of New York City for a rare look inside a place most people never get to see. Here we are with David Stark, a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service out in Upton, Long Island. So David, tell me about this impressive outfit you have here. Yeah, so this is where it all happens. We do the forecast in the near and the short term, uh, temperatures, winds, precipitation, um, sky cover, in the, in the near term and the short term in the next uh, two days. And then we also do the forecast out in the longer term, out seven days, which is occurring right over here. Those forecasts are issued by 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. every day of the week. The National Weather Service also issues fire, hydrology, marine, and aviation forecasts. We're making sure that the planes can land and take off safely from all the airports in the tri-state area. This office is also responsible for issuing warnings during hazardous weather, such as severe thunderstorms, flash flooding, or winter storms. Do you guys get as excited as we do in the Fox 5 Weather Center when there's a storm happening? Oh, there's always an excitement. Weather data is collected from several instruments located on the grounds. This is where all Doppler ra radar is. We uh, can monitor and scan the skies at any point, 24-7, and we can get a three-dimensional picture of what's actually happening in the atmosphere during a thunderstorm or a snowstorm or any type of rain, and we can see that come back to us on radar, and that gets transmitted to the world. Data is also collected from weather balloons. And this instrument will be attached to the balloon and will measure temperature, humidity, and pressure and winds are calculated by GPS and that data gets put into the computer models. All of that data is kept in logs. The original weather logs for the New York City area are found right here at the National Weather Service and they date all the way back to 1869. This just is just amazing. Yep. I mean when we look at our climate data every day and we on the news saying hi today 65 mm -hmm. record was back in 1949. This is the exact record that we're talking about on yep. television. Yep. And it's all in the handwritten and the the, the paper little pages. Yep. I know it's amazing. This floor this is like my favorite part of the building. <laughs> Next on Weather Extremes. The umbrella you have to see to believe. It will create a, like a roof of air on which the, the drops of water will will bounce and then it will it will protect you from from the rain. Then Mike. All right, number three. Audrey. This is our parachute handles. Nick. Our cameras are rolling with the Fox 5 weather team before they start their day. The Nissan Road. With blind spot warning, a round view monitor, and intuitive all wheel drive. Choose Rogue and get 0% APR financing or lease just $249 per month. Innovation that excites. Rogue from the most fuel efficient lineup in America. Shop choosenissan.com.
United is rolling out global, satellite-fed Wi-Fi to connect you even 35,000 feet over the ocean. That's Wi-Fi friendly. I'm outside. Where are you? I'm right here. I'm in the Buick. I don't see a Buick. Oh, got it. The expectation-shattering Buick Encore. Wow. Now well-qualified non-GM lessees can lease this Encore for around $199 per month with only $7.99 to its signing. Toys want more. They need more. So get more guaranteed from Verizon Fios, including your favorite movie channels, blazing fast internet, and $400 back. All for this amazing price online, guaranteed for two years with a two-year agreement. So take the hint and get more guaranteed today. At Hyundai's Thanksgiving Feast, we're carving up juicy deals. Like the all-new Sonata for a piping hot $169 a month. And we've chopped the lease price on a sleek, smart Elantra to $139 a month. <laughs> See all the great deals on every Hyundai at your local Hyundai dealer. Hurry, it all ends December 1st. That's right, your time is almost up. Radar technology is allowing forecasters to better see extreme weather. Better satellite technology is doing the same from space. But what about the technology behind weather gear? Allison Morris takes us into the future. From an umbrella shape to shield you from the rain, to another umbrella so advanced it uses air to keep you dry. This is the future of weather technology. It will create a, like a roof of air on which the, the drops of water will, will bounce. Quentin DeBain doesn't see his product hitting the market for another 36 years. That's right, 36 years. That's why he named it the Airblow 2050. But at the Near Future Lab in LA, they're coming up with new weather technology that we could see a lot sooner. We have this idea of a surveillance mitigating umbrella. The fabric of the material is made in such a way that it protects the sort of electromagnetic spectrum that's around you so that your cell phone calls and all sorts of other things cannot be picked up. Don't want to carry an umbrella? What about waterproof clothing? Carbon Rain, which is a line of uh, sort of wearables, uh, effectively clothing, that we uh, speculated would be designed using carbon fiber. With another freezing winter on the way, one company's changing the way we dress in the cold. This year, Uniqlo upgraded its heat tech line to include extra warm layers. It actually works with your body's own moisture and actually retains it and then uses it to generate heat for you. And it is very light to the skin, so it allows you to layer less, keeping you warmer. The company taking their creations to the forefront of fashion, adding a number of new styles to keep you warm when it's cold. You can wear it now outside. We have hats and gloves and scarves, leg warmers, leggings. These are Heatech leggings. This is a new product this season. We've also just developed Heatech fleece. They also have down layers so thin you can wear them under your coats and clothes. And the great thing about that is you can have warmth with you on the go. Coming up, the best apps for tracking rain, sleet, and snow. Everything from what it's going to do in the next five minutes to what it's going to do in, in the immediate area around yourself. From tablets to telephones, real-time information at your fingertips. Next on Weather Extremes. A new ally. Harvey Dent. Joins the fight. Everybody jump! Gotham. Monday at 8 on Fox 5. One day, I'll be moving out of this house. Can I get that in writing? I just can't shake this image of a 30-year-old you eating my food and cuddling with my wife. Modern Family, Monday night starting at 7 on Fox 5. In the fraction of time we spend driving in reverse, about half a million accidents occur each year, which is why the Infiniti QX60 has world's first safety technology available, like backup collision intervention, which can break even before you do to help keep everyone safe. Lease the all-wheel drive Infiniti QX60 for $4.19 a month 
Visit your Tri-State Infinity Retailer. Looking for one of these? Your play. Smooth, creamy, and craved by the whole family. So how would you handle Dodge Dart for the big finish? First, we serve donuts. <laughs> then we get a giant stunt ramp and launch this bad boy 100 feet in the air. And we end the whole thing with some amazing pyrotechnics. Or we could just give away free money. Or we could end with 0% for 72 months in all 2014 models. That's crazy. Now, get a low-mileage lease on the 2015 Dodge Dart SXT for $149 a month for well-qualified lessees. One award doesn't make you the best. Three awards, well, that's a different story. The Audi A3. Experience the award-winning Audi A3 at your local dealer today. You can track the weather just like Nick, Audrey, and I do. All you need is a mobile device and the weather will be at the tip of your finger. Here's a look at some of my favorite weather tracking apps. Well, there's so many out there, especially for iOS and Android users. Just like many people, first thing in the morning, I'm checking the weather through apps on my phone. There are hundreds of apps out there to feed your hunger for weather information. Everything from what it's going to do in the next five minutes to what it's going to do in, in, in the immediate area around yourself as well. My favorite weather app to track storms is Radarscope. In fact, every weather geek I know has this powerful weather app. This is a feature-packed weather radar app made for meteorologists and hardcore weather fanatics. Your weather palette will savor the variety of data products that also include severe weather alerts and lightning detection. Want to know if it's about to rain on your parade? There's an app for that. Check out Dark Sky. This app pays attention to weather details. It can predict up to the minute whether it will rain or snow at your exact location. Dark Sky's animated seven-day forecasts are pure eye candy. From visually steamy to easy on the eyes, Aerial Weather translates the raw data from area airports. This app has the frequent flyer in mind. Just set up your favorite airport locations and the app then pulls up weather conditions and forecasts. It is a favorite app of pilots and aviation buffs. While there's plenty of meteorology to be found on these apps, most New Yorkers are downloading them for more practical use. In comes Swackit, a fun and unique twist to the science of weather. This app is geared towards how weather affects your lifestyle. It visually provides wardrobe suggestions according to the weather in your area. Things like rain jackets, umbrellas, sunglasses, or short sleeve shirts are displayed right with the forecast. You don't have to be a weatherman to know which way the wind is blowing. Next, Mike at 3 a.m. Backpack. Audrey on the go. This is our parachute handles. And Nick flying this plane? A behind-the-scenes look at your favorite weather personalities before they come to work. Bernadette and I are getting married. Ma? Next Big Bang. Coming up next on Fox 5. Next on The Real, T-Pain is here. But which lucky fan is having dinner with one of us? The Real, Monday at 11 on Fox 5. Lease this Cadillac SRX for around $3.59 per month. Visit CadillacTristate.com for this exceptional offer. 
Create a style that stands out with confidence. Now at Men's Warehouse, select top designer suits are on sale for only $249.99. Plus, buy one, get one free on almost everything else in the store. Confidence suits you only at Men's Warehouse. Don't miss out on all the great deals happening now at the Kia Black Friday sales event. Like 0% financing for up to 72 months on the Optima and Sorento. But that's not the only thing that has people talking. Edmunds.com says Kia vehicles stand out for their value, performance, and sporty styling. Plus, get a first look at the all-new Sedona. Hurry in today because the Kia Black Friday sales event won't be here long. Get 0% financing for up to 72 months on the Optima and Sorento. Hurry to your nearest Tri-State Kia retailer today. We all know there are plenty of places you can go to unwind. Somewhere to find a party or start your own. You can always find great shopping or a five-star restaurant. It's easy to find an oceanfront view or even a hot blackjack table. But what's incredible about Atlantic City is finding all of these things in one place. The dedicated people of United Airlines are there to support you. That's got your back, friendly. Create a style that stands out with confidence. Now at Men's Warehouse, select top designer suits are on sale for only $249.99. Plus, buy one, get one free on almost everything else in the store. Confidence suits you only at Men's Warehouse. I get asked a lot of the time, if, you know, what's our day like around here? It's kind of crazy for all of us, for sure. It can be. Well, you're up late at night. Yeah, I am. And you're up early. I'm up earliest, that's for sure. And I'm all over the place. <laughs> well, let's start with you, Mike. You yeah. get up the earliest. I do. My alarm clock goes off at 3.15 in the morning, and you've only got maybe five to ten minutes to sit there and kind of slowly pull yourself out of bed. Morning, sunshine. Time to get up. And you immediately pop on the TV, see what's going on in the world, go to the computer, make sure it's fired up, start checking out what the weather headlines are for the day. At about 3.40, I brush my teeth, I floss, and I do a little quick brush of the hair. Yes, I do have to brush my hair. And then I'm putting the clothes on. I got about five minutes for that. I need to be out the door at 3.50, out the door. Can you take me to 67th Street and 3rd Avenue, please? certain time I need to be in the makeup chair slot at 405 and then I gotta go back in and uh, look things over with Carly my weather producer we get the euro we get the snow I'm hoping for the euro weather team activate we kind of come to an agreement of what the forecast is going to be for the day what graphics to use and what order and then at 425 if it's not all ready to go rock and roll I got a problem it's gonna change the batteries this is exciting. <laughs> you were now knocked down to 1.30. Down to 1.30. Down to 1.30. Toss to Sky Fox. After 10 o'clock, when good day is done, then I'm pretty much free to go, unless there's still some weather in the area. We are going to be above normal with the temps again, or I have some special projects to work on. But 10 o'clock, I'm out the door. <laughs> Don't put me in the video. OK, let's go. My alarm goes off at 6.25 AM. My four-year-old usually climbs in with me in bed at 6.30. Hey! I'm usually crawling out of the bed at 6.50 to wake up my other two children. And for the next hour, it's getting dressed, getting fed, getting those teeth brushed for all three kids and getting their backpacks set up with their lunches and all their schoolwork and out the door by 8 o'clock. And I have three kids at three different schools, so that means three drop-offs. You like this song? I do too. Are you okay? My oldest daughter gets dropped off by 8.15. Backpack. My son gets dropped off by 8.30, and my four-year-old daughter gets dropped off by 8.40. On the dot. Never late. I got it down to a science. All right, number three. I got it like clockwork. Boom, boom, boom. I love working weekends because in the morning, I don't have to take anyone to school. And we're back. Everyone climbs in the bed with me, and we all watch cartoons until about 8 or 9 o'clock. Make breakfast, it's a very leisurely day where I just hang out with my kids until I have to go to work. It was a cold one across the tri-state area today with our temperatures. <laughs> There's so many things I love about my job. Of course, I love the weather. 
but I also love television, and I really love my co-anchors. I really have a fabulous team. I'm very into social media. It really is the best way to find me. So if you want to track me, talk to me, or just tweet me, like me, follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. First thing is uh, see the kids, a little quick breakfast for the kids, make sure they got off to school, and then off to the flight school, up to Westchester County Airport, uh, where I'm the chief pilot, and I instruct at performance flight in the Cirrus aircraft. Right now, what I'm looking at is the weather at White Plains. The ceiling's at 2,000 feet, roughly, uh, which is fine for uh, just staying around the airport. And uh, the wind, uh, a little gusty. Uh, it's from the northwest at about 14 knots. Which airplane are you taking? So uh, I'm going to be in 2-8, okay. Papa Fox. What I'm doing now is uh, dispatching the airplane. How you doing? Good. How about you? All right, doing all right. Gonna do a little flying. So the plane I'm going to be flying in today is a Cirrus SR-20. 200 horsepower engine, and they'll do about 150 miles an hour in cruise flight. My nervous student pilot for today is Jose Salvador, who vowed he'd never get into a four-seater airplane. Let's see how he does. I just uh, checked our outside lights. I checked that the systems are working so far. I'm checking that all the circuit breakers are pushed in, and they are, so there's no electrical issues going on. And uh, this is our parachute handle, so the safety pin has been removed. So that means this is active and ready to go. And now I'm gonna go outside and check the whole outside of the airplane. Since the airplane is mostly made of composite material, uh, I'm looking to make sure that the seams are glued together properly, that there's no gaps in the, in the seams. I'm looking to make sure there's no oil that's spraying under the bottom, or there's no fuel that's been leaking, or any brown staining, which would indicate some kind of an exhaust problem. And it all looks clean. Don't hold on to your straps because these are airbags. Keep your hands on your okay. knee, uh, in front of your lap, okay? Clear. You have to wait for like them to tell you to go? Yes. Oh, that's what we're doing now. Well, I have to get the weather to be legal. This is our call sign. 28 Papa Fox Drive. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in far Bombay. Come on and fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. I think I created a monster. Oh, God, when are we going back up? Yeah. <laughs> The great thing is coming into uh, forecast weather every day, it's always something different because it's always a new challenge trying to figure out the forecast since the weather maps are always changing. And when I get the forecast together and I get it right and I get to tell you about it, that's a great feeling. Well, we hope you enjoyed our look at weather extremes. And for the most accurate forecast this winter, make sure you tune in to us on Fox 5 News. Thanks for checking us out tonight and have a great night.